So, we're here on a cold December night at Swiss Chalet. One of the places that we don't get to eat at in the U.S. because we don't live in Canada. So I wanted to give Swiss Chalet a try again since I hadn't had it in a while, especially their Swiss Chalet sauce. And in case you're wondering why the camera's shaking so much, it's because it's cold, I don't have a jacket on, and it's like 30 degrees. So we're getting ready to go in. So come along with us as we ramble about Swiss Chalet chicken. So we're at Swiss Chalet, which is a chicken, what well, used to be a chicken restaurant. But over the years, they have modified their menu. So now they have ribs. And they have rotisserie beef. But I stick with the chicken, because that's what I know. So this is my double leg dinner that I normally have, fries. And then that's the Swiss Chalet sauce. Yum. That's um, I asked for multi-grain, I got white. Yeah, okay. So, right. Joanne poutine. opted for the poutine. Oh yeah, I'll give the roll over there if they want it, okay. And somebody opted for no chicken at all. So, like I said, Swiss Chalet used to be a chicken place, but now they have other offerings. So they have the rotisserie beef. Gosh, do you want an extra bun because they are not supposed to get And also ribs. Yeah. All right, so now I'm going to try. Oh, your fries are going to go on the table. Yeah, we'll be here for the day. Chalet sauce. Good stuff. Well, so what can I say? We had our Swiss Chalet experience today, and it was okay. The food was about what we expected. It was, you know, it was pretty decent. Um, some of the fries were a little undercooked. Um, the food was maybe a little bit on the cool side. Um, we ended up having to wait quite a while for our food, and they blamed it on the pizza. Now, the pizza looked like it was burnt, or at least almost burnt. It was fairly crispy. Um, and Emily was the one that ordered the kids pizza because she didn't want any of the chicken But like I said the food was okay. It was you know, it was it was it was okay Wasn't bad wasn't terrible uh, Like I said, it was a little bit cool the Swiss chalet sauce was um, You know, it was as good as normal um, But really the experience was kind of soured uh, probably because of the uh, wait staff um, I'm not exactly sure what happened with our waitress. Uh, this is probably the worst experience we've had at a Swiss Chalet. Now, we've never gone to this Swiss Chalet before. Um, we're going to go back again, but not necessarily to this location. And, um, you know, just for our viewers, uh, I would recommend avoiding the Brant Street Swiss Chalet in Burlington at 1220 Brant Street, just north of the Queen Elizabeth Way. Um, I would not suggest going there, and um, just my opinion, uh, not a professional one, obviously. But she never came by to offer us any refills. Uh, I did not get any refills. And when I finally got a refill at the end of the meal, after she had given us our bill, um, she didn't even bring me the right drink. So, not real cool. She didn't offer anybody any refills during the meal. And... Uh, when Joanne asked for her refill, apparently she rolled her eyes. So also, uh, I guess, sort of a, you know, a strike on her. Generally speaking, like I said, you know, the food was okay. It was, you know, roughly what we probably would have expected. Um, fries were a little uncooked. But I think the whole thing, the whole experience soured just because of our lack of service. It's unfortunate, but luckily uh, we don't live near, or rather um, the location where we were staying, or where we are staying this year at Christmas, is not anywhere near this Swiss Chalet location. Um, we were visiting my sister in Burlington, 
and decided to go to Swiss Chalet because we never get to go there, being that they don't have any in the U.S., or at least not in the Tampa area. So I'm going to consider this a fail. This is probably one of my first videos where I do not recommend going uh, to a restaurant, and this time it's focused on the actual location and not necessarily on the restaurants themselves. Like I said, the Swiss Chalet sauce, which is one of the things that I was really going to Swiss Chalet for, was great. Service, we're going to say it was not great. So, thanks for watching. Um, you know, the food, I'm sure as you're looking at, at the video and seeing the food, you know, it looked pretty good. Just don't go to the Brant Street location. So thanks for watching another episode of Rambling with Phil. Sorry I couldn't have any more positive things to say.